So Ecom Hunt and any other ones are doing the exact same thing. So anybody using those apps and this app are finding the exact same products. Welcome back Dropouts and thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. And if you guys are new, welcome to the best Shopify YouTube channel. My name is Matthew and I make daily Shopify videos to help you guys with your Shopify dropshipping stores. As you guys know, I've made reviews on a bunch of product research tools for dropshippers and you can go check them out by clicking the eye up here. Otherwise, you know that I really like Niche Scraper. It's a great value and really it offers a lot in terms of product research capabilities. So what we're gonna do today is just, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite method of using Niche Scraper to find products and how I think Niche Scraper should be used when you're doing product research. There's the obvious one where you just look at the winning products that they select every day. Problem with this is that everybody's probably using this. This is probably the most common way of using Niche Scraper and this is what everybody thinks is the best way of using it. And in addition to this, if you've watched my Niche Scraper review, I actually point out that Ecom Hunt and Niche Scraper have literally the exact same products being shown here and I'm sure other product research apps are also doing the exact same thing. So Ecom Hunt and any other ones are doing the exact same thing. So anybody using those apps and this app are finding the exact same products. You know, you're not really finding anything really unique here. So the way I actually love to use niche scraper is just to go hit on product search. And what I do is just type in keywords that have to do with my niche. So I'd write something like kitchen, for example, right? If you were doing something in the kitchen niche, and it doesn't even have to be in the kitchen niche, right? It can be in any niche you want, especially if you're a general store. Like I said, these Shopify tools are much better if you have a general store because you just have so much variety of products to choose from. And so very like right away, we have a product right here. Uh, it's the best seller on fatsell.com, fatsell.com, and it has an Alexa rank of almost 500,000. And obviously the higher you are on the Alexa rank, the more traffic your store gets. This is a decent amount of data. So let's go check out this store and see their best selling products. Cause this product was added one week ago and it could be doing very, very well. The way we're gonna check this, I'll show you guys right now. So give this a second to, to load. And as you guys can see, it's a pretty general store. So this store looks like it does a fuck ton of money a month. So let's go check it out actually. Let's go visit their website. All right, so once you get on their website, you know, I definitely encourage you to have a look around and see how well they're doing or what they're doing that you're not maybe. Because right here we have a very successful store, right? Estimated monthly revenue is 100,000. That is an insane amount of money per month for a Shopify store, especially one that looks like this, right? You can see that this is almost standard, right? There's nothing super duper fancy about this. And the good thing about finding somebody else's website is we can actually go hit on Commerce Inspector. By the way, I'm using a free version of Commerce Inspector. We can actually see their theme. So they have a uh, their own theme, right? But again, doesn't look too good and uh, nothing too special, right? We can see this is like drop ship, nothing special here. Everything is still in Chinese, but Hey, if it's doing well, it's doing well. Now, what we're gonna do is go here and hit on products. And here we can actually see their most recently added products. And by looking at this, we're gonna compare it to their best selling products and see if any of those products are matching. Or what we can do is open another tab, visit the website, all right? So have this one show the most recent products. And on this one, what we're gonna do is just hit on best selling. So there's gonna be a start right here. We're just gonna hit on best selling. And the goal here, the goal here is to basically just check these two and see if any of the products that are here are also on their best selling. Because they're, if they're recently added and they're already on the best selling on a website like this, these are clearly products that are selling very, very well. So right away, we can actually see in, in fourth place. So one, two, three, four, or I actually don't know this arrangement, but pretty high up there in their best selling is actually these anti-swelling ginger patches. And if we look at their recently added products, that swelling ginger patch was added 15 days ago. So for it to already be, you know, anywhere near the best selling on a website that's doing $100,000 a month is really crazy. So that's already a great product that we can start testing. We can import to our store. And the great thing with niche scrapers, we can actually just copy that product right to our store and get started bam, almost instantly, right? All we gotta do is just make an ad and we're good to go and we can start selling this product, you know, within, 15, 20 minutes, you know, we just have to create an ad, make some targeting and bam, we can start selling that product. So really that product research method is that simple. Again, uh, you know, we can do it over and over and over again. You just keep going to these websites, finding their products, you know, even try adding their recently added products, right? Once you actually find their website, you can just look at all the products that they're adding to their store and keep testing those as well. For example, the eight days is also a bestseller that we saw. It was added eight days ago. So great product to already start adding. Uh, LED faucet, let's go see. You know, this just gives us an idea, especially if you're doing a general store. Uh, let's see, is there anything here? Oh, okay, so there you go, the cellulite cream, best-selling product. But yeah, basically you just keep looking through that, seeing how long ago they added it, and you're good to go, right? You can just keep finding amazing products to add to your store. And here's another one, the Simply Shelf was added six days ago, and it's already on page two of his best-selling products, right? So it's right here, and there's another product, right? It just, it's, it's such a great method. Oh, sorry, this is, yeah. 
it's such a great method that if you're not using it this way, you're not finding products that nobody else is gonna find, right? You would have never thought to Google corner storage holder shelves, or you would have never thought to Google, what was the first product? These ginger foot patches, right? They're just not things that you're thinking about. They're things that you know are outside your niche and probably outside your comfort zone to look at, right? Look, bathroom accessories and these. But it turns out when you look at a very successful store, it's products like these and products like the, the shelf that are really doing the best. So these are the products that you gotta be finding and the products that you gotta be selling and the only way to find them is by going on people's websites and the best way to do that is niche scraper. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a simple technique, right? It's, I'll teach a man to fish and you guys can keep going and fishing and fishing and fishing for your products and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.